Hello everyone, welcome back to Trending Global. Is you must say girl here. So today we're gonna to talk about West Africa. For over 60 years, West Africa has been experiencing colonization, neocolonialism. It's it's even more than neocolonialism, as we say, because they are the French colony and they have been experiencing the same thing they got independence in the name but in reality management of their resources and their leadership system is always being managed by the france so it's as you all know that most of west africa countries since 2020 have been having coup because they feel like the presidents or leaders of their militia are being decided by the france so we're going to start with this amazing country that has a legendary leader who was called Sangara. Sangara was one of the African brilliant minds and he was killed by the whites because of his brilliance, because of his ideas and because he transformed Burkina Faso to be the best country when he was the leader. He ensured that every worker could at least donate one month's salary to the development of the community and to the pure, poor people in the community. And since the, the friends saw that if this leader is going to do this for five years or a decade, people in Burkina Faso are going to be first class country. And they didn't want that to happen. He was also fighting against them for wanting to control them, yet they have independence. So after he's, he has died, his spirit has come back. And we have a new sheriff in town. There is, as you all know, there is a recent coup in Burkina Faso. And the head, the 35 year old head of military, his name is Ibrahim Tawore. He's the new president of Burkina Faso. He's courageous, he's brilliant, you know. He has all it takes to transform Burkina Faso from the poorest country in the world to the first class country. So the first thing he has done when he got into power, he has ensured that he gets new allies who align with the agenda and the objectivity of the people of Burkina Faso. And his new ally is Russia. You all remember that when he went to Russia, he gave out a very powerful speech and the world was wow with it. And of course, we all support this young head of state of Burkina Faso. And recently, they've cut ties fully with France, which is a big win for Africa. It's high time that we Africa raise up and fight against this new colonialism because we have what it takes for us to stand for ourselves and for us to develop our people and our countries. So President Ibrahim Taure has terminated their non-double taxation with France which has been in existence for 63 good years. For 63 years, Burkina Faso has been a free state in books and on paper. But in reality, they have been having a non-double taxation with their colony. This is so crazy. So it is a good step, a very celebrating step for Burkina Faso to decline this relationship with France. And now they are free. Though they are facing resistance from other African countries, the African Union, the ECOWAS, and the European Union, who wants to continue manipulating them, stealing resources, the natural resources from our brothers and sisters, and making their lives miserable. So, uh, at the, in accordance to that, the France have cut off the aid, which the president, quote unquote, said. If you've been receiving that aid for 63 years old and, and we are poor, then we are better off without the aid so that we can fight for ourselves, we can stand for ourselves and make our economy better. So the plan for the new president, Ibrahim Taure, is to make sure that they do their own mining and process it locally and then it will be able to spur the economic growth. They'll be able to get more sources of income to run their country, to eradicate poverty level, which is very high, to, 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 you know, to make schools run, to give their people universal health care, basic needs. Because 
they have so much minerals that they don't deserve to be living that pathetic and miserable life so uh, they have also banned the export of uranium and gold to france and the united states of america we all know that in in france uranium runs uh it lights home between one to three homes one home is lit by uranium from Burkina faso from mali from niger from east from west western africa countries but you know what is the irony 80 percent of the population of these countries that france has been exploiting and taking their natural resource don't have lighting 80 percent of the population that means in a population of 50 million households 45 percent 45 million people don't have lights yet they're exporting raw material that is going to provide power and energy in france so it's very ironical and i believe from my personal point of view that the action Burkina Faso new president Ibrahim is taking is the noble step to rescue his country to give his people a better life and to show the world that Africa doesn't need AIDS we don't need AIDS to exist we don't need AIDS to move forward we don't need whites coming and deciding to us who is supposed to be our president? Who is supposed to be the head of our militia? We don't need their support at all. All we need is us to be left alone. We do our own mineral execution and process them locally and provide our people better living. It's so absurd that our people are suffering out there out of poverty, yet we own all minerals that is making the West better. Thank you very much.